Many Americans first learned about mRNA technology when it was used to create COVID vaccines. But researchers have been experimenting with mRNA for decades as a potential weapon against cancer. They haven't had much luck until now. In a new study, scientists tested two groups of melanoma patients. They found nearly 79% of patients had no recurrence after 18 months when given a personalized mRNA treatment in addition to the immunotherapy treatment, Keytruda. That number was just over 62% for those who only received the immunotherapy. Joining us now is Dr. Ryan Sullivan. He's the Associate Director of the Melanoma Program at Mass General Hospital Cancer Center and a co-author of this new study. Doctor, 100,000 Americans are diagnosed with melanoma each year. You work on this on a daily basis. Remind us how de deadly and dangerous this kind of cancer is. So this is uh, obviously a disease that uh, is very common. Uh, and up until probably about 10 years ago, the majority of patients who were diagnosed with melanoma that had spread uh, and could no longer be operated on was almost universally fatal. Over the, the past decade or maybe 15 years, there's been a number of advances. And the most important advance that we've made as a field has been the development of immune therapies, which to said another way are treatments that actually um, can uh, harness the body's ability to fight the cancer better uh, and, and very commonly can eradicate the cancer or at the very least control it for many months, for many years beyond what it used to be able, what we used to be able to do with other therapies. And how does this mRNA addition uh, to the immunotherapy, how does that how does that work and how related to it is it or can we build it on to what we know about mRNA from what we learned during COVID? For sure, it's it's an, a really great question. And, and I think the, the most important thing to know about th this study that's studying mRNA is it's looking um, to enhance the effectiveness first of surgery that can cure patients who have uh, melanoma uh, based on certain features in the tumor um, or involvement of lymph nodes. Patients could be at higher risk for, for recurrence and spread. Um, and a drug called pembrolizumab and another drug called nivolumab can reduce that risk. Um, however, as you saw from that graph and that, that table, uh, at 18 months in that study, 40% of patients had recurred already. And so we need to do better. Um, mRNA vaccination is a new technology. Obviously, it's not that new, thankfully, because it really helped us um, get through the COVID, the worst of the COVID epidemic. But utilizing that same technology, we can now build vaccines that aren't against sort of the, you know, the spike protein of COVID, but actually can be informed by the patient's tumor, mm -hmm. um, the patient's inherited genetics, um, and we can build a vaccine that helps the body directly fight the differences in the tumor versus their inherited DNA um, and lead to a more effective therapy for our patients. So then as a final question, doctor, how um, can this be used then for other kinds of cancers and how much does this change our thinking about the treatment of cancer? Is this kind of pretty promising or is this a big deal or help us understand the magnitude of, of this study and what it might suggest? I think there, there's two things about this study that are so important. One, it's a potential new therapy for patients with high-risk melanoma. That's going to directly and, and hopefully someday soon impact patients with melanoma and those who care for them. The, but the bigger issue, which you're alluding to, is the fact that this is a an entirely new field. Um, in an entirely new field, the sky's the limit. Now, it probably will be tested in a number of different cancers, and it likely will help some patients with some types of cancers. It probably won't help everybody, but right now we don't know who it will and who it won't. And so I do believe that the sky's the limit. This is that exciting uh, a discovery and that exciting a piece of data that suggests that there may be an entirely new way that we can think about treating cancer patients. Incredibly exciting. Dr. Ryan Sullivan, thank you. My pleasure.